What's up guys, Alec here, and in this video I'm going to be talking about the TikTok algorithm and showing you how the TikTok algorithm actually works. So, the social media landscape is changing dramatically. During the last decade, the virtual currency that rewarded creators and influencers was a currency made up of follows and likes. The short form video app TikTok has pioneered an initially new methodology that uses an ever-changing algorithm to decide what their users consume. TikTok is exceptionally good at recommending content. So good that when a user opens the app, they will stay in it for over 10 minutes. This is three times longer than Instagram. This demonstrates that algorithm-based recommendations are a lot better than humans using like and follow filters. And as TikTok's technology and user base grow, we can only expect this recommendation engine to get much, much better over time. As you can see here, if you take a look at this graphic, TikTok was the most popular social media app in the US back in 2019 by average session duration. Behind it was Pinterest, then Reddit, then Facebook, Skype, Tumblr, Twitter, and then IG. So TikTok is completely crushing the competition when it comes to the average session duration. Now for a long time, it has been known that short form video content on mobile will be the future of mobile content. Snapchat found early access in this market with disappearing photos and videos, and then with the innovative story format. However, TikTok is currently winning over global audiences thanks to a combination of its native short form video and its algorithmic recommendations. So in this video we're going to try and understand to the best of our knowledge how the TikTok algorithm actually works. And this is going to be for consumers and also content creators. By understanding the mechanics behind this platform we can then start to better inform our content creation decisions. So how does TikTok's algorithm work for a content creator? So here's how a video is evaluated when it's posted to TikTok. Once a video is uploaded, TikTok will analyze your video using natural language processing and computer vision technology. From the video you post itself, here's a quote from ByteDance explaining how the algorithm works. Artificial intelligence powers all of ByteDance's content platforms. We build intelligent machines that are capable of understanding and analyzing text, images, and videos using natural language processing and computer vision technology. This enables us to serve users with the content that they find the most interesting and empower creators to share moments that matter in everyday life to a global audience. So if you take a look at this graphic here, this is how it would work. You have the computer vision that picks up what it sees in the actual video. For example, here the AI can see that there's a girl in the video, it picks up that there's a coffee and there's a laptop. Then TikTok's natural language processor automatically transcribes the audio of that video to get a better understanding of the video content. And then of course there's the metadata. This is the video's name, the description and hashtags which are also taken into account. So basically everything about your video is taken into consideration when you post it onto TikTok. So now that TikTok knows some basics about your video, it's gonna boost your video to a small number of users on the platform. After boosting the video, an evaluation is gonna happen of how the users and the watchers of that video interact with that video. Each interaction taken on that video is a metric which is tracked. And each metric that is tracked has an associated score that varies in value. And here we've put together an estimated value scoreboard. So here, the most important metric is is the rewatch. If someone rewatches your video, you would theoretically get 10 points. If someone completes watching your video, eight points. If someone shares your video, six points. If someone comments on your video, four points. And then if someone likes your video, two points. So as you can see here, the rewatch rate and the completion rate are the top rated metrics, juxtaposed to the likes and comments being the least rated metrics. And although the rewatch rate and the completion rate of your video is the most important metric, leaving your video playing on a loop isn't going to help your video go viral whatsoever. This is due to the fact that these metrics are calculated per user. This ranking system makes click farms redundant, and this is a problem that Facebook have been battling themselves for quite some time. So if we take a look at this graphic, we're going to go through the content flow of the TikTok algorithm. So as you can see, the first box here, we have a user who posts a video. Then the video is analyzed and TikTok analyzes everything in that video from the audio to the metadata. Once the video has been analyzed, TikTok approves of that video and then it gets pushed to a small audience. TikTok decides what kind of audience would be best suited for this video. So it's then pushed to the users, the users watch this video, and depending on how the users interact with that video, the video gets a performance rating. Now, after its performance rating, depending on the rating ratio, the video is either successful or not successful. If the video is not successful, the life cycle of that video ends, and that is where you stop getting more views, likes, and comments. However, if the video had a decent completion rate and a rewatch rate, for example, the video would be deemed successful, so it would then go back through the loop, back to being pushed to a bigger audience. 
So it would then go through the whole process again of being pushed to users, back through the performance rating. Again, if it does well with that crowd of people who watch the video, it will then go around in a loop. And this is how content goes viral. You basically want to get stuck in that loop and every time have a good performance rating. So that's how the TikTok algorithm works for a content creator, but how does TikTok learn about you as a user? So TikTok needs to learn as much information as it can about you. This way it can know what kind of content to serve you when you open up the app. When a user downloads TikTok for the first time, they open up the app and they are dropped into TikTok's For You video feed without even needing to sign up. This is a smart decision from TikTok due to the fact that it lowers the barrier to entry and then it starts collecting data from you instantly. And at this point, as soon as you do open up the app, TikTok is basically learning as much as it can about you. The first sequence of videos you consume at that point are designated to do two things. The first thing is keep you in the app. It tries to keep you in the app for as long as possible, only showing you videos that are classified as having high engagement rates towards a wide audience, as well as having a low exit rate. And then the second thing is to understand what type of content you like. Out of all the videos that you consume on TikTok, they'll pay attention to the rewatch rate of certain types of videos, to the type of videos that you engage with, to the type of videos that you like, to the type of videos that you watch all the way through, and even what profiles, hashtags, and types of trends you have been looking at. Using the same system as above, TikTok's algorithm will now start building a score-based profile against your account. Every time you rewatch a video or consume the entire duration of a video, the algorithm takes note of this information to inform its future suggestions. And again, here is the point system. The rewatch rate, 10 points, completion rate, 8 points, shares, 6 points, comments, 4 points, likes, 2 points. So here is another graphic, and this is the new user flow for TikTok's algorithm. So a new user goes onto the TikTok platform for the first time. It starts engaging with welcoming content. Then TikTok will update the content profile for that user. When, when the user returns for a new session, it will then be shown personalized content based on its previous session and the previous content that is engaged with. Again, from this, TikTok is then again gonna analyze all the type of content you have engaged with. It learns more about you and then it updates the content you are shown on your profile. And there, that is the TikTok user flow algorithm. Over time, TikTok gets more and more informed about the type of content you like so that it can better recommend content to your needs. So TikTok has managed to build an enormous video first platform that is engaging users of all ages around the world with its pioneering content recommendation algorithm. User generated content apps are only as good as the content on the platform. Therefore, it would be unfair not to praise TikTok's video editing toolkit that allows its creators to make this engaging content. If filters were the key to unlocking better photos on Instagram, then it would only be fair to say that music and captions have been the key to unlocking more engaging videos for TikTok. If I had to give any tips to anyone trying to grow on TikTok and make better content, I would encourage content creators to aim for a high rewatch and completion rate. So that is how the TikTok algorithm works. If you enjoyed this video and you felt like you learned something, please hit the like button. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out to us in the comment section below. We'll get back to you as soon as possible. And again, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. See you in the next video.